Here's another example. Remember I told you about the shock artifact when it's too big, it engulfs the sensory potential in it. Here it's very difficult to tell where the sensory potential started. You can see a little bit where it ended, obviously. You can for sure see the peak. But it's tough to see where it started. And the machine, indeed, went and put the O at the bottom. That's not true, obviously. The O probably should be here. I'm, I'm guessing here. But that's where the onset probably is. The P is where it should be. And because the O and the T are preferably symmetrical to each other, I would put the T where that red arrow points out to. The things on the right are motor artifact. Again, we're just delivering too much current here. You really should stop when the sensory potential peaks and when you're producing the least motor artifact possible. Here's another example here. What did we do? Even though the shock artifact is not too big, the machine, for some reason, picked the onset in the wrong place. It picked the T about in the right place, certainly the R in the right place, but certainly not the O. The O, in fact, should be here. You can see a clear deflection from the baseline uh, when the potential starts to go up. And here you should override the machine and put the O where the arrow point, red arrow points out to.